Yeah, I think I'm in focus right there. Good morning, guys. What's going on? Welcome back for another video. Um, I'm up this morning early. I'm walking the dog, and I figure it's a perfect opportunity to talk about something I had a question about. I think I have the answer to, so I can share it with you guys. And if any of you guys are into the Canon EOS R system and are wondering about using EFS lenses on these cameras um, for video, particularly the 10 to 18, which I'm filming on right now, this video is for you because a lot of people that are coming to this camera um, go, are coming up from uh, the Rebel series and some of the crop sensor stuff, and they're gonna be coming into this EOS RP um, as an upgrade and an easy, cheap entry into full frame uh, photography. And so I had the EFS 10 to 18 laying around, and I figured to myself, I wanna put this lens on the camera and do a quick vlogging test with it to show you guys what it's like. So, the first thing you gotta know is that the EOS RP, not necessarily the R, but the RP, only lets you record in 720 with dual pixel autofocus or 4K with contrast-based autofocus, which is complete garbage. You might as well just click it in manual focus, which, which is what I did here. You guys saw me uh, autofocusing that in the beginning of the video. So right now I'm recording in 4K, and if I did my math right and I did the homework right online, the 10 to 18 gets cropped like an APS-C, so 10 becomes a 16 millimeter, and then the one the 4K crops it again by 1.6, which becomes like a 25 millimeter. Let me spin around my dog, it's driving me nuts. So the reason why the 10 to 18 is somewhat interesting is because if you're looking for that 24 millimeter field of view, which is probably a fairly common field of view for vlogging, but you want 4K, you either have to buy the 16 to 35 or a Sigma 16 millimeter full frame lens, or you can use this $200 cheap 10 to 18 lens, which is about 25 millimeter field of view, if I did the math right on that. So it's interesting for that aspect, but you have to manual focus it, and I'm manual focused right now. Not a big deal, I think it looks okay. I have the, all the digital IS turned all the way up because I'm used to, uh oh my dog's crapping in the background. Anyways, I'm used to, us to manual focusing lenses from my Micro Four Thirds vlogging days because Panasonic had unreliable contrast based autofocus. A lot of times I would just click it on manual focus and go. And of course I came from an Olympus camera and I'm used to the good st stabilization so I turned the digital stabilization all the way up on this Canon camera just to uh, try to have the smoothest video I can. Anyways, this is the EFS 10 to 18. Why I'm showing you guys this is because this is what it looks like after it's cropped twice but I am shooting in 4K with manual focus. I am now gonna stop this video and click it into 720p with dual pixel autofocus so you guys can see the difference between 720 and 4K on the EOS RP. So let me click it over right now. All right, and this is the uh, 720p video on the EFS 10 to 18. So now you guys should be seeing an equivalent field of view of uh, 16 millimeters-ish. Um, I do have dual pixel autofocus on, check this, see? super fast in 720. I always wonder, can you really tell the difference, especially for most people watching these videos on iPads and iPhones between 720 and 4K? I think some other people like Maddie Apoy have done videos on this. I don't think it's as obvious as most people would think, but it is nice to have if you can do 4K. Anyways, this is the 10 to 18 in 720. Now one thing with the 720p video on the EOS RP is that you uh, only get 30 frames a second. So the 4K I shot in was a 24. I'm shooting this in 30 frames. Um, I'm going to upload this whole video in 24 frames. I guess the video editor just drops frames. I'm not really sure how that works. But um, this is just a quick video test between the 720p and the 4K with the EFS 10 to 18 on the Canon EOS RP. Just like you guys, I want to answer questions. I didn't see a good video on this. I want to see actual evidence of what this looks like. Um, if somebody already had it out there, I missed it. But this is for you guys. Anybody interested in this lens and video or a lens and body combination? This is for you guys. All right, I'm getting eat my mosquitoes. I'm getting killed right now. It's terrible. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll catch you guys next time.